All right, all right, all right. What is going on, everybody out there? It is Chris here from Black Lens Cinema and Creedum Book Services. So today we are going to do a video working in the Corel Draw graphic design program on how to create a graphic for whatever video production you have. So it could be used for a music video, short film, any type of promotion for any type of video, commercial project. So today we're gonna to use it for a short film. This is gonna be an Instagram specific graphic that we're gonna be creating and it's gonna be for the Instagram story, not the feed. So this is the feed. Um, this is our Instagram page, Blackland Cinema. Whenever you guys get a chance, make sure you um, follow our page, Black Lens Cinema, on Instagram, and also our other page, Creedum Books Services, at Creedum Books, C-R-E-E-D-O-M-B-O-O-K-S, on Instagram. Um, and also make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, and make sure you turn on the bell so you get all the notifications, because we're going to upload a bunch of tutorials that are going to help you guys save a lot of money, and... Um, allow you guys to learn these skills in easier programs. Uh, these graphic design programs are a little bit easier, not as technical as some of the other ones like Adobe Photoshop. Now, if you have experience in Adobe Photoshop, it is a great program. It is one of the top of the line programs. I honestly think it's a more dance program than Corel Draw. You could do more, obviously, with the, um, the connection between Premiere and Photoshop and all the other Adobe programs, Photoshop is a better way to go, but Corel Draw is the program I've been using for years. It is simple. You don't have to worry about the layers like you do in Corel Draw. So, I mean, you don't have to worry about the layers that you do in Photoshop. So, Corel Draw is more simple um, to use and especially good for beginners. Something I would recommend for the beginners. So, to get into our video, we are going to create a video. From being just the like this, so we can create a story that goes into the highlights. I just have one question Do you think about well, me as much as I think about you? Middle, and we're from going being just we're going to do that. So, we also have one for our film Close Call. I wish we did the same thing. I probably won't answer the phone. So we're going to create this type of graphic for your any promotional use on Instagram in this actual story. Um, so we'll dive into it. So as I said earlier, we, we're using Corel Draw, which is a graphic design program. They do have a subscription-based option, which is... Um, a very simpler and a more affordable way to use the program. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure our settings and our page size is set right for the Instagram story. So that's gonna be, um, we're gonna be working in pixels, not inches. So we're gonna be working in pixels. It's gonna be, the width is gonna be 1080. The height is gonna be 1920. These measurements may look familiar because obviously 1080p, the um the size of a 1080p video that we are traditionally used to watching is 1920 by 1080 but this is actually flipped so it's going to be 1080 by 1920. so we're going to do that don't need a bleed or anything so what this is the key to this is to just get the measurements right of how you want the the video and the graphic to look so the easiest way i found to do it was to take screenshots from the actual film or project music video whatever project you're using take screenshots of the um the project while you're editing it and uh, for those who don't know this is in adobe premiere this is the editing software we use for videos and this button right here this little camera button right here export frame that is how you take a screenshot when your video is playing on the screen. So once you get a screenshot, we're gonna dive into we're gonna dive into um, the edit. So we're gonna go in and see so we have close calls. So I have a folder called screenshots. 
So if I make extra large icons, so I find a screenshot that works. So that's one I like. And I like this one as well. So we'll, we'll import those. And then we'll use, I use my um, scroll wheel on the mouse to zoom in and out. So use our scroll wheel, I'll move it over a little bit. And then we're just gonna highlight them both, both images, and bring them in. Um, we'll bring them in, then I can use my scroll wheel to zoom in a little bit. So like I said, the width is 1080. So automatically, you know, I want my width 1080. Um, and then I'll bring my, so if we're talking about 1920, um, you break that down and you got to figure out how do you want, you have to break that down to thirds, basically. Um, I think that's the easiest way to do it. Um, so you break that down to thirds. The easiest way is going to be around 600 in height. It might be a um, good height to do because obviously you break 600 down in the third, you get 1800. And then that also leaves an extra, um, extra room in the middle just so you have to play with. You know what I mean? So Because obviously our height is 1920. So if we're using 1800, we got an extra 120 to play with that we could fit more of the video in. So... Um, I'll go to object and then I'll align it and then I'll center it to the page. So this way my images are centered and they're even. So then I'm going to move this one down. I'm using the down arrow on the keypad. And this is just to avoid dragging. I could drag it with the mouse, but I, want, I don't want to avoid moving it. So I want it to be straight. So I'll do that until, as you can see down here, um, we have a little bit of room left on the, the, the actual page from the image. So I want to move my image down so that's covered. And I move this next image up. So what's going to happen is my film is actually going to play in the middle. So we could even do it a little bit more. We could actually probably push it up to 650. Um, we could probably actually push up to 650. But you can play with these sizes and get it to whatever size you feel comfortable having and then work from there. So we pushed up the 6 for D both images. And then this center image, um, the center of our image is actually going to stay blank. So we're not going to do anything here because this is exactly where we want our video to be playing. So now I'll just import my logo. bunch of graphics here let me see I think I got a logo in here somewhere uh, all right so boom. so we actually have um, I did a white logo so this logo is white so one of the things you want to do is um, I'll have and I'll bring this I'll bring this image in in, in for you just so you guys can see it. Um, so this is my actual poster cover. I actually make it smaller so it's easier to see. This is my actual film poster for the short film. Um, and one of the things I want to do is match it up match up the colors with I, I want to I want to keep the theme of the colors so um, what I'm actually going to do is I want as you can see right here my black lens cinema my logo is actually on white um, just so I, I didn't want any red contrast in it but for this I actually want the fonts and things to match the actual color so the main thing I'm looking for is the actual title so I want the 
as you see that the, the the color scheme we're using is white and purple I'm gonna stay with that theme so we'll go to the font tool I'll type in my my title close call then I'll type in um, short film just so people know exactly what they're looking at because it could be a music video. this is very common for music videos but you can use it for anything um, directed by and we're gonna put that at the bottom so what I'm, one of the things I want to do is change my font to match the font that is on my cover so that's gonna be that's gonna be um, Thrasher. So what this is, and um, this is the font. And then the words, the letters are actually spaced out a little bit. So you highlight it, you'll double click. So the easiest way to do it is to double click. So I'll double click this, and once you see the cursor inside the box and next to the font, you know you're in the the font tool. So we'll highlight our image and. This area right here allows us to space out the letters. So if you actually look at the letters, the more I increase it, the more spaced out the letters become. So I'll set them to 50 to keep them a little bit spaced out. And when you look at the actual box around, the um, the markers around the font, um, these markers are sizing tools. So they resize the image. If you click once on it, you'll be able to, they change, you see. They change from squares to little arrows. So then you'll be able to rotate the image. Um, I don't do that. So that's just by clicking on it once. Clicking on it once toggles between rotating and actually resizing and moving the image. So what I'm gonna do is make it a little bit taller. Like I said, I wanted to match. I wanted to match my my font here. So the next thing you can do is um, I'll bring it here just so I can see what I'm working with in terms of size. Um, I'll highlight it. I'll highlight close, and I'll click over here on my color panel. I'll change it white. You can either click all the way to the right on the color panel, or you can do the drop down on the uniform fill, drag it up to white, and now we have the white. Um, I'll do the same thing for the other part of my font, but this time I'll use the dropper. So I'll click on the text color, and I'll use the dropper to select this text to match. So then we have our text. Then I click on the pick tool and I pick it and I move it right where I want it. Keep it increase it a little bit more. I'll probably try to my best to center it here. And then what I'm also going to do is I want this red to go away. I want this to be purple just to match the theme of the title so we'll right click outline trace line art so what is what this is going to do is going to um, make this image take away the color from this image and then make it more transparent so now I can play with the colors myself so this is what you want to do with any logo even if you download a logo from somebody else if you're editing a logo from somebody else you want to switch it up switch up colors you can do this so what I'll do is I'll remove color from the entire image and then we'll remove the background. So now this usually does two, but so now you want to separate the one from the other. So this one is going to be my um, my replica. So I'll delete the original. I don't need that anymore. Now I have the replica. So, and the reason we do that is, and I'll show you, I'll undo that real quick. The reason that we do that is, if you have the original PNG file, the transparent background of the logo, it's going to stay the way it is. You have to uh, actually outline and trace it to make it become something you can now edit. Now, we have this. So, as you see, I go over to the right. I'll click on blue. I can't change. It will not change colors. Now, if I click on the one on top of it, and I click on blue, it changes the color because I have now traced it. It's now become an object in my project. So now you can change it. So I'll undo that. So that's why we no longer need the original. So now that we have 
um, the duplicate, I'll right click and I'll ungroup. So what this does is now separates each item that's spaced out. Usually it's connected by color, but not necessarily always. So what I want to do is I want to change each one of these. Now it's separated from the words and the letters. So now if I highlight, I'll highlight the bottom here because I can select all these at one time. Highlight each bottom uh, letter. Go to color it. Go to the eyedropper. And then we're going to select our color. Boom. You see the color changes to purple. So then I'll do the same thing. I'll highlight. So now when we click each one, all I have to do is hold shift and click on the next one, next one, next one, next one, next one to try to select them all. Go back to the dropper, pick it. Oh, wow. They are all a little bit off. Select, 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 select. I think I just did the same thing. All right, we do that. So the easiest way to do it is you could just do this, but I like to highlight them all, save myself some time. Go to the dropper each one. And then we have that. Now, if I don't um, group it back together, by the time I move something, I go to move something, and I have to move each piece. You don't want to do that because then everything will be all over. The words will be all over. Certain things are connected. Certain things aren't. So I don't do that. What I'm going to do is highlight the whole logo. Right click and group together. So now when I go to move it, the entire logo moves. So I'm going to keep this down here. I'm going to actually make it smaller, a little bit smaller. So then I'll keep that down here, or I'll place it up here depending on how you feel. Um, either or works. It's just that I don't want to block too much of the face or the character of what's going on. So that's why I consider putting it at the bottom. So now I'll find a nice font that's consistent. And I think this is a New Academy. New Academy is a font I really like for my graphics so if you can if you can find new academy and use new academy that's definitely a dope font you could use so we'll scroll up all right here we go new academy where are you at there we go New Academy, I like New Academy. I'm put New Academy directed by. So we're gonna put this, bring this over. Like I said, turn it white, and we're gonna shrink this down, not too much, and place it right over our logo. Now we can do the same thing for short film, but at the top. So I bring it over, turn it white, zoom in. Shrink it down. See, in, in if you were working in Adobe Photoshop, each one of these would have to been creating a new layer. Corel Draw. The beauty of Corel Draw is that everything is layered automatically. So the program itself is layering everything as you're doing this. So you don't have to individually do it yourself. So and then voila. Then we have the film. I'll delete this. So then we have. If you want to line these up, what you want to do is highlight both items you're trying to align. So I want to align the logo with my text just to make the shorter center. So I'll align them both, go to object, align, and I'm going to align them horizontally. And that you see how the, the text shifted to the left. So now it's centered and I want to do the same with this. So you highlight it, object, align, align horizontally. And now that lines them up, make sure they're straight. So now that we have our graphic, I'm going to Export it, file, export. I want to export it as a PNG because if I export it as a JPEG, this white image is going to stay white. So you won't be able to, it won't be transparent to the point, to the degree that you can put um, your video in the middle of it. So I'm going to do PNG, Instagram story film. I'll name this uh, number two for you guys. So then one, once it's exporting, you see the checkered. Well, anytime it's checkered uh, with the white and gray squares, you know that's a transparent background. So when it's transparent, that means you'll be able to see through. That means you can 
and this is very important when when people are doing flyers, when people are doing websites. When you see a flyer, you see a logo on the flyer. You don't see the white square behind it. It was a PNG. It would say there's a PNG. The background is transparent. So we'll, we're okay with that. So then we go into Premiere, which I already have open. You're going to change the settings to make sure they match the size of the Instagram story. I'll scroll to an open space. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to import our um, import our graphic Instagram story two. And then we're going to drag it over on top. The reason we want it on top is because you wanted to see over the actual the the video. You wanted to be on top of it. Um, so next we'll get our our actual trailer to this video to this film I think I believe it's sequence too so we'll drag our trailer down I mean as you can see up here to the right I'll play the trailer the trailer plays um, it's actually small it's actually located in the middle it automatically resized itself to scale to what's going on so you see it automatically in the middle um, so what I want to do is I want my graphic to extend the same length as the trailer so it doesn't fade out and you don't have this awkward black screen on this um large format for the instagram story so i'm going to use this selection tool and i'm going to drag it all the way to the end obviously you see the line that's the end of the video then boom then we have it but as you can it to somewhere that's more um, noticeable see here so now you see the scene you see the black lines at the top and at the bottom it's just because the way it's scaled to this um, format this size format so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my video and I'm actually going to scale it up so it's at 56 now I'll scale it up to 60 and we get rid of those lines I can scale it in as far as possible to do whatever is necessary I can move it left I can move it right whatever flows so once we do that, we now have we now have our video. Hey Jeff. The once we do that, once everything's aligned up, everything looks good, everything's perfect the way you want it, you'll export it, the media. And then you'll change whatever settings are your preference. Um, we'll go over preference uh, settings inside Premiere in a later video, a different video. Obviously, this is just straightforward. Um, you see our graphic to the, to the left with our video in the middle. And then we export that. And then we are good to upload it to Instagram. So, once again, this is the Instagram story highlight video. So... If you haven't seen it, this is going to look like in your highlight video. I mean, in your story, your Instagram story. Um, you can add it to your highlights as well. That's why I keep saying highlights. But you can, as you can see, this is the Instagram story. You have a dope graphic. Um, this is another one we did for the film, our other short film, Vengeance. Um, we did a little uh, editing. And What's going on? We need to talk. About the, what? Uh, Images, the bottom of the images, the top of the image, just to give it a little bit of, just to give it a little bit of different feel, different look. So that's something else you can do. We'll address that in another video as well. But that is a Instagram story um, frame for your whatever your video production project. Um, we also have the Instagram feed um, frames that you can also create, but um, we'll go over that in a different video. It's very simple. Same steps. It's just you're literally changing the settings of the page, but you can click on that link to that video as well just to make sure you don't miss anything, just make sure there's no other tips that we give. But, yeah, it's very similar. Um, if you could do one, you could do the other. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, anything else you want to see, anything you see on our page, 
that you like, that you want to know, hey, how did you create that? How did you do that? Just let us know, and um, we'll make a video for it. We'll get that information out to you guys just so you guys can create, and you can do it affordably, and you can do it as simple, um, headache-free. You won't have to keep running to these graphic designers and get charged hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and sometimes thousands of dollars to do things you can do yourself and that's why we're here so if you enjoyed this video if you found it informative make sure you like the video make sure you share it and make sure you subscribe to our channel we appreciate it and go visit our websites www.blacklandcinema.com check out the trailers to our short film also on our youtube channel and also check out our other pro our other company Creedum book services at www.creedumbooks.com you can check out a lot of good books a lot of good information um you can also check out the Creedum book services youtube channel there's a lot of more resources on that channel we do a bunch of tutorials that are different from these so if you want to get into writing if you want to get into um understanding how to make graphics that are related to writing maybe you want to open up a graphic design little hustle um, make sure you subscribe to that channel as well and check out those videos. Peace.